Good morning, it's Tuesday, March 5th. Today I'm going to answer a question that musicians get all the time when on stage. Do you take requests? But before I answer that for myself, let me ask you. Do you take requests? Let's pretend that you work for a bank. You're just sitting there minding your own business, doing your work, when all of a sudden I come into your office and start making drunken requests. Hey man, would, would you mind copying column B on the worksheet too for me? That's... thanks. Would you honor those requests? I know I probably wouldn't. Now some of you might be thinking that being a performing musician is more like being a bank teller than being a bank officer. You go out to a bar to have some fun and the band is there to serve you and make sure you have the kind of fun that you want to have. Now I can test this however because bank tellers generally don't have to make any decisions. Their job can actually oftentimes be replaced by a machine. An automated teller machine, if you will. And we have machines that take the place of musicians too. They're called jukeboxes and iPods and computers. If that's the kind of musical experience you want, you can get that just about anywhere. If you're going out to see live music, have a little faith in the band that they know how to shape a musical experience for you. I remember playing a benefit dinner in college where a guy just kept pestering us to play some Bob Dylan. The problem was the only Bob Dylan song we knew was Tangled Up in Blue. Now those of you familiar with the song are probably immediately thinking, that's not really an appropriate song for a fancy dinner. It's about eight minutes long and has some questionable material. Exactly, but he kept persisting so eventually we gave in, and about three minutes into the song, everyone, including Mr. Requesty Pants, realized that it was a huge mistake. Just first I go to a strip club, and I talk to a topless dancer. How does that make you feel now? There's kids here, man, there's kids all over the place. Fancy people, rich people, rich kids. Trust your musicians. They know what they're doing most of the time. That being said, there's actually a couple situations where it's perfectly okay to ask for requests. The first is when the musician asks for them. There are plenty of gigs such as piano bars, hotel lobbies, and country clubs that work exactly in this manner. They ask for requests, you give them the requests, they play them, and everybody's happy. It's also usually okay to request songs if you have money. I've played Keep Your Hands to Yourself more times than I'd care to admit, but I'd say 95% of those times I played it because somebody requested the song and then subsequently dropped a 20 in the tip jar. And I hate to admit this, but I'll play almost any song for 20 bucks. You may also request songs if you're the person booking the gig and you give the band sufficient lead time. I've played plenty of private parties where the person in charge requested one or two special songs, and with a month or two in advance we were happy to oblige, even when that song was in Agata De Vida. Finally, feel free to request a song if you have a remarkable story and or are willing to put in some effort. One time at O'Neill's, a group of ladies who had been fired earlier in the day came up to us and requested What's Going On. When we said we didn't know the song, they found the chords on their iPhones and even offered to sing the vocals for us. And that actually turned out to be quite a bit of fun. But if you're just sitting at your table a little drunk and thinking, man, I'd really like to hear some Skinnerd, then don't be surprised when you go up to the band and they say, R, go sit down, sir, that's not how this works here. And if you do request a song and the band seems like they're gonna play it, please be patient. Maybe the band has a perfect slot to slide your request in later in the set, or maybe they're just waiting for a table of kids or grandmas or something to leave before they play your expletive-laden request. Trust the band, they know what they're doing, most of the time. Okay, no shows this week, but I'd like to remind you that I will be putting out a video every weekday for the month of March on one channel or another, so perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, thanks for watching.